Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a little get ready with me, just do a little makeup vid. So I'm gonna try and mix it up today. I'm gonna use, you know, some products you're familiar with. You've seen me use them a bunch of times. I'm gonna mix in some stuff I don't always use um, just to keep things a bit interesting. Also, for fun. It's kind of a hazy day today in LA. It's really overcast, but nonetheless, first step, I'm going to use sunscreen. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. A portion of this video is sponsored by Super Goop, so thanks Super Goop for partnering with me. The last time I featured this in a video, you guys like really got mad at me in the comments because you said I did not use enough to get the benefits of SPF. So I hear you. I'm using a big old glob. I know I've been very vocal about how sunscreen is so hard for me to find. I'm very sensitive to it. It either gives me a rash or breaks me out. I haven't had any issue with any of the Super Goop products. I really love them. And this one is my favorite for my all over sunscreen. It feels silky smooth. It goes on completely clear so it doesn't leave any white cast. It's great if you have darker skin tone. It also protects from blue light. So any light from like your phone, computer, TV, iPad, anything like that, it protects so it works whether you're inside or outside. It also doubles as a face primer. So that's why I love to do this right before foundation. For foundation, I'm getting to use my Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. This is not new for you guys. I've been using this for a while. I really like it, but I'm not sure if I'll purchase it again. Like, I would purchase it again, but I'm kind of also, like, open to other options, you know? Like, it's good, but I'm like, it's good. It's not, I don't want to say it's not great, because it kind of is great, but it's not like, oh my god, I can never live without this. Also by Charlotte Tilbury, I'm going to use her Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I used this a couple times, like, way back when, and then just didn't use it for a long time. I think it's like the applicator is like really messy. So I just kind of like shied away from it for a while. And then I fell in love with like the Tarte concealer. But I really did like this formula. So that's why I dug it out. I'm gonna use it again. It has like a really unique texture to it. It feels like a second skin. It's weird. Can't really describe it, but it is good. But yeah, packaging, ugh. I wish it was just in like a doe wig with a doe foot applicator. I decided to stay home from the studio today, which like I normally go to the studio every day except for Sunday, Monday. Cause I've been staying like so late at the studio too, just like trying to make more things to sell. I've been like neglecting other aspects of my life. Like I had like had to do laundry. I had to go grocery shop, grocery shopping like badly. I kept like ordering food because I don't have anything here. And by the time I'd like get home from the studio, I'm like exhausted. So I was gonna go today and I was like, you know what? Just take a break and I thought, you know, do some filming. So no studio today, though I am hankering. I really do love being there, but I'm like, for my own sanity, you know, I have to take a break. So let's do the eyebrows, just some boy brow. This is all I've been doing for my brows for like the past several weeks. I've not been penciling them in or anything. I've just combed them back and then I comb them up. And honestly, I've been loving. Okay, so another product by Supergoop. This is very new to their line. They just came out and it's their Shimmer Shade SPF 30. They are eyeshadows. They have SPF 30, hence the name. This is the first eyeshadow to have SPF in them. So really important to protect your eyes. Obviously putting sunscreen on your eyes can sometimes cause them to burn. So they came out with a fun solution put it in your eyeshadow, you know? So they have three colors here. This one is Sunset. This is my personal favorite. It's like a very pretty bronze color. Is it focusing? There we go. These eyeshadows are great. I literally have been wearing them every single day. That's why they're like really dirty. They've been thrown in my purse and my makeup bag. They've seen better days, I'll be honest. This one is called Golden Hour. But I love them because they look gorgeous and they literally don't crease at all. They're like a cream to powder eyeshadow. This one is first light. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the texture of these. 
Oh, I need to like unbutton my pants. I ate some Dan Dan noodles for lunch. Whew. Okay. Sorry, I'm not flipping you off. This is just my preferred finger. Um, all right, so this is golden light. Look how pretty that is. I just dab it all over the, the lid and blend it out. They blend so nicely. Look at that. These also keep my eyelids from getting really oily. Mine get so oily and it basically just like dissolves my mascara. And so this kind of helps keep everything in check. Okay, then I go in with my fave sunset. And oh, this one's so pretty. And this one's like really pigmented too, so you don't even need a lot. And I tap that over the gold, but just on the lid. I stop like right as the crease because I'm going to blend it out. Right at the crease, not right as the crease. So these dry pretty quickly, so I'm gonna do one eye at a time. I'm just gonna take a little brush. And just blend that at the crease. Just gives like a really pretty wash of color. And then sometimes I'll just like dip the brush right in that bronze one and I'll just take it very lightly under my eye. Hold for plain. Then I like to take the lightest shade in first light. And I just take a little on my pinky and I just like dab it along the brow bone. This one's a really pretty highlight. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Then I just curl my lashes. Then I'm gonna use Lash Slick. Oh! I've been exclusively using this mascara for the past several weeks. Um, you guys know I'm like obsessed with my Chanel Le Volume. I've used that for years. It's my favorite. Um, but this one's really good too. I mean, I love this one. It doesn't give as much volume. It gives more like a separated fluttery look, which is good. But it's so easy to take off. It doesn't smudge. And it's so easy to take off because it has like fibers and so they come off in like tubes. So with warm water, like I splash my face and then I just like massage it off my lashes. It's so easy. And that's, I want to be honest, that's been my driving factor in reaching for this every single day. I've just been too lazy for the Chanel. It's not like hard to get off. It's just like a regular mascara, you know, like you need like an oil cleanser or makeup remover. And I'm just like, ugh, can't be bothered. Does anyone else like that? Okay, eyes are done. Now I'm going to do... This is like a bronzy look. I'm gonna do some bronzer on my face. This is Hoola. It's gonna dust it around the perimeter of my face. Okay, um, let's do some blush. I've been like really into like a lot of color on the cheeks lately. Like to the point where like the other day my boyfriend was like, oh, your cheeks are all red. And I was like, yeah, what's your point? So I'm going to use, um, Fenty Beauty sent me a bunch of their matchsticks. So I'm going to use this one called Beach Bum. It's like a bronzy peach. I'm just going to dot that along. Hmm. I don't know what brush to use. Let's grab one. I mean, I'm kind of blotchy. I think the better way to use this is to like warm it up on your hand first and then use like a stippling brush. It's probably better. Okay, not my fave, but let's move on. Maybe I was blending it wrong. I don't know. You guys let me know. Okay, so for highlight, I have been actually using this shimmer shade. I know these are eyeshadows, but I can do whatever I want. It just gives a really pretty sheen. I 
I've been really liking this lip gloss from the brand Persona. And this is in the shade Peach. It's just like a really pretty peachy neutral gloss. And um, the texture's just nice. It's not sticky at all. It's really creamy. Okay, so that's the look. I can't stop looking at this brow bone highlight. Maybe. Okay, yeah, again, not a fan of this blush, but love the color. What am I doing wrong? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you also check out Super Goop, the shimmer shades, the unseen sunscreen. Oh yeah, I forgot, I'm gonna do, they have this setting mist sunscreen, amazing. What will they think of next? I'm gonna do, um, Would help if I was actually spraying it on my face. Ugh. So just to set the makeup. So check them out in the description below. Amazing sunscreen. There's something for everybody. Thanks for getting ready with me and I'll see you in my next video.